Colin O'Keefe here for LXBN TV. Since the controversial shooting of Mike Brown and the ensuing protests there in Ferguson, Missouri, the idea of putting body cameras on police officers has seen much increased support. Joining me now to share his thoughts on the subject and why he's actually pushing for these in Portland is attorney Jason Kafori of Kafori and McDougal. They are in Portland and author on the Oregon Trial Advocate. Uh, Jason, first off, what are the results that you seen with these police body cameras so far. You referenced some pretty uh, startling statistics in your posts on the subject. Well, Colin, it's really just starting. Uh, we've seen in Rialto, California, since 2012, 88% reduction in civilian complaints about police excessive force. Now, that's huge. Uh, and it's time to have this recreated in a lot of other cities. And the ball is starting to roll. Uh, we're seeing this happen in New York City. Uh, I believe they're, they're putting them uh, into place in New York City. And actually here in the city of Portland, the mayor has called for all officers to have these cameras on within a year. So we're actually pushing to try to get that done as fast as possible because in a he said, she said case, video doesn't lie. And, and that's the only way that we can accurately reflect what happens when a civilian says they were you know, beaten or, or, or abused by an officer. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And you make a great point there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, again, in your blog post, you reference that this is now going to the city council there in Portland. Why is this something, uh, besides the reason that you've mentioned so far, that you are, are really backing there down in Portland? Well, the reality of the Portland police is there's been a long history, decades and decades, of excessive force against citizens. And no Portland police officer has ever permanently lost their job as a result of excessive force on a citizen. And that's just unacceptable. And what we need is to have a system where when someone is abused, during any interaction with the police, we have an unbiased, documented, video and audio recording of it because police can't get around the truth and video creates a record which is as the citizens said in a, in a recent case we had here uh, where we got the largest uh, verdict against the Portland police ever for excessive force a few weeks ago about five hundred sixty two thousand dollars the the jurors said afterward that it was the video that really made the difference in that case and in that case Cox versus city of Portland the jurors uh, had the video, but the police at the time of the beating didn't know they were on video. And I think that was the big difference in that case. If the cops know they're on video right from the outset, they're not going to punch someone six times and tase them four times. Mm -hmm, definitely. And you make a, a great point there uh, that these not only can uh, reactionarily provide an impact in terms of uh, serving justice when it's needed, but even more importantly, they can have a monumental impact on proactively uh, curbing behavior before it actually happens. Uh, once again, that was Jason Kafori of Kafori and McDougal there in Portland. For more of his insight on this subject, be sure to visit uh, the Oregon Trial Advocate. It is at OregonTrialAdvocate.com. Thank you for joining me today, Jason. Thank you very much, Colin.